वेलकम टू बी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डोमिनोलॉजिक सी मॉस इन दिस वीडियो एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेटिक सी मॉस एंड डायनेमिक सी मॉस एंड इन स्टेटिक सी मॉस वी हैव सीन वी वेर बीन मेकिंग सर्किट ऑफ सी मॉस बाई हैविंग पुल अप एंड पुल डाउन नेटवर्क एंड पुल डाउन नेटवर्क दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ पी मॉस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ पी मॉस इट हैज मोर साइज higher load capacitance and slower switching speed and to avoid issues of pmos we use dynamic cmos but in dynamic cmos we have seen there are issues regarding cascading and to avoid problems of cascading we have a solution that is domino cmos so here by using domino cmos we avoid issues of cascading in dynamic cmos circuit so here first i'll explain you the basic structure which is there with dynamic cmos so in its basic structure here we have vdd after that we connect gated clock pmos so here there will be gated clock pmos after that there will be pull down network so here we have pull down network which is made up of nmos there can be k inputs with this pull down network after that there is gated clock with nmos so here we have gated clock with nmos and then we connect ground and here we were been having output in dynamic cmos but in domino logic cmos here we connect static inverter remember this here we connect static inverter and then we take output right so the basic difference is we connect static cmos inverter at output side in domino logic cmos so this will be our static cmos inverter that will be there in domino logic cmos so this is the basic difference which we have now as if we calculate total number of transistors then you will be finding if you calculate total number of nmos in domino logic cmos then you see here we have k input so total k number of nmos are there plus gated nmos is there plus one nmos that will be there in this inverter right so total k plus 2 nmos that will be there in domino logic cmos and as if you talk about pmos then you see here we have one pmos for gated clock and one pmos that will be there in this static cmos inverter so total two pmos that will be there in domino logic cmos right and here the basic advantage of this domino logic cmos is to avoid cascading issues right so i'll explain you how we can avoid cascading issues so to have understanding of how we avoid cascading issues let us have cascading of domino logic cmos so here we will be having vdd then gated clock cmos and then for inverter here we have one nmos where we give input and then again gated clock cmos that is there so that is gated clock nmos and here we take inverter and then output so this is my output one right and that is what i'll be cascading it with second domino logic cmos so here second domino logic cmos that i'm going to make so for that here we have vdd then gated clock pmos then for inverter we have one nmos and then again we have gated clock nmos and here we take output from inverter so this is my output two and here this output that we give it to input to this nmos so that is how cascading is been done now let us try to analyze that with respect to timing diagram 
So here I'm going to make timing diagram of it. So first I'll show you a waveform of clock. Then here we'll see waveform of input. Then here we will see what will be our output one. Here we will see what will be our output two. And that is what we will analyze with respect to time. So here in clock we'll be having active low then active high then again active low and then active high clock right active low means logic zero that one can say active high means logic one that one can say and input will be active high for this time period and input will be active low for this time period now here let us consider first case in which clock is zero and input is one so as clock is zero this pmos that will get on and this nmos that will get off and input is one over here so this will be on as this is off and this is off here at x1 terminal voltage will be vdd means logic one and at output one it will get it will be logic zero and here at x2 e1 voltage will be vdd and at output two it will be zero so during this time period output will be logic zero means ground right now let us see the second case and in second case here clock is one and input is one so as clock is one you see this pmos that will get off and this nmos that will get on now here this input that is having logic one so that will get on so what will happen you see this voltage at x1 that will get start to discharge in this path so as it gets start to discharge in this path he, here it will acquire logic zero but here inverter is there so output that will get start to charge and it will acquire voltage vdd right so at x1 terminal voltage will start to discharge and at this terminal voltage will start to increase so you see it will increase like this gradually and it will acquire vdd voltage now when this voltage is increasing if you observe this is what my input to this nmos and as this is my input to this nmos initially that output one that was zero so it will consider that as logic zero right and here it will be logic one and here it will be logic zero right but when it will reaches to 2 vtn means if you see this timing then at this timing it will be reaching to 2 vtn in that case this will be my input and this will get on and as this will get on x2 will start to discharge so our output that will start to increase so from this time period onwards my output will start to increase like this and it will acquire vdd right so if you see my previous video in which we have seen cascading issues of dynamic logic cmos so in that there were a possibility of false condition but here you see there will be lag in output 2 but it will not have that false logic operation but obviously there will be delayed output that one can say right so here that's this much amount of delay definitely that will happen to have output and if you have more cascading in that case this delay will increase so there can be race problem that one can say so this domino logic CMOS that will be avoiding that issue of cascading but it falls in a problem of race problem of race means what output delay will be there so if more cascading is there then you may not get evaluation phase over here right so this is what possibility that is there with domino logic cmos now let us discuss third case in which clock is zero and input is zero so as clock is zero you see this pmos will be on and 
this nmos will be off so in that case this x1 terminal again that will get start to charge via vdd and x2 terminal that will get start to charge via vdd and because of that you will be finding this x1 and x2 that will acquire vdd but after inversion output 1 and output 2 that will start to discharge to zero voltage so here output 1 and output 2 that will start to discharge like this right now if you see fourth case so in that clock is equals to 1 and input is equals to 0 so when clock is equals to 1 this PMOS that will be off and this NMOS that will be on. Now you see this NMOS that is on and input is 0 over here. So as input is 0, this X1 that will stay in VDD state and after inversion, it will be having 0 voltage. So here, out 1 that will stay 0. And as out 1 stays 0, this NMOS that will get off and as this NMOS is off, you will be having X2 that is VDD and after inversion that will be 0 so out 2 that will stay 0 so in dominologic CMOS we solve problem of cascading but here another problem that is getting generated that is race around and this race around problem that will be there with uh, dynamic CMOS it will be there with static CMOS even as well as it will be there in dominologic CMOS and that is what explaining you a delayed output in cascading so if delay is increasing to some greater value in that case you may have false operation of logic circuit so that is how the basic case which is happening so i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much.